Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. iPhone 13 is a really solid phone and expensive too. I mean, I'm an Android user for quite some time now, but once in a while I switch to iPhone and always been a pleasant experience. The only time I go back to Android is sometimes it's so perfect, I'm getting bored too. The default out of the box experience is good, but I think changing some of the settings, we can make it a better performing phone. Today we'll give you awesome tips how you can optimize iPhone 13 or iPhone 13 Pro. Hey, don't forget to subscribe my friend. Let's go! First is using the dark mode. So all iPhone 13 lineup are using the Super Retina XDR OLED from the base model mini up to the Pro Max. And these are really good and bright OLED panels. I know all iPhone 13s have great battery life, but if you can still enjoy and add more time by controlling the brightness and using dark mode, why not? To do this, go to settings, display and brightness, and change the appearance from light mode to dark mode. Remember for OLED panel, the LED is firing individual pixels, so if you chose dark mode, the panel is turning off the LED when it's just black. It will definitely save you some juice and in the long run, you can buy some time by doing that expensive battery replacement. Next is low power mode. This reduces the amount of power that your iPhone uses when the battery gets low. To turn low power mode on or off, go to settings, battery, and low power mode. When low power mode is on, your iPhone will last longer before you need to charge it, but some features might take longer to update or complete. This will be useful for hiking or isolation if you don't have any power supply to plug your iPhone. You don't need to use this every time, just remember it because it will come handy. Next is Focus. Focus is a new iPhone feature that lets you block all notifications except from specific people or apps. Introduced in iOS 15, Focus is like the advanced version of Do Not Disturb. Some Focus option lets you automatically reply with a pre-written message to anyone who texts you. To use this, go to settings and then focus. You'll be asked what you want to focus on. You can pick one of the preset options. These have their names and notification option already configured or select custom. You can also have the option for focus status. The focus status is a small reminder that will be shown to anyone who texts you while you're still on focus and gives you the option to push past your filter and notify you anyway. Turn this off if you want to make sure that people you've excluded cannot text you. Our next tip is the screen time. With screen time, you can access real-time report showing how much time you spend on your iPhone or iPad. You can also set limits for what you want to manage. Screen time lets you know how much time you spend on apps, website, and more. This way, you can make more informed decisions about how you would use your device and set limits if you need to. To turn on screen time, go to settings and then screen time. Tap turn on on screen time and then tap continue. Select this is my device. After you turn on screen time, you will see a report showing how much you use your device, apps, and website. Screen time is the same as Android's digital well-being. Next is customizing your widget. This feature is available and being enjoyed by Android users for so long and it's about time that iOS adapted. Instead of going to the individual app to get the information you need like news, music, or weather, you can simply add the widget for it and you will see the information in your home screen without deep diving on your apps. The best use for me is the battery percentage. That information is super helpful as I finish my day. I need to know if I need to top up before going to bed or going home after work. It also gives me the weather before I get out of the house. Hey, if you own iPhone 13 or any phones you see on our channel, we're making more videos of these phones in the future. Please hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this. And lastly, turning off automatic flash on your camera. Not for battery life or digital well-being, this is more on utilizing your camera app, so night shots will work really well without the harsh flash. By default, it is turned on and you can see this on our comparison videos a lot because if it's dark, then iPhone 13 will switch the flash on. There are cases that you want to embrace the dark scene or for privacy reason, flash will indicate you're taking a photo of something or someone. You don't want to get in trouble so you can turn it off and just use it if you need to. So those are the things that you might want to consider changing or using. I think that will optimize your use of your iPhone 13. It's a little expensive but a great phone. And with a little TLC and optimization, it's a perfect communication and digital companion. 
And that is some of the awesome tips for iPhone 13 or iPhone 13 Pro. If you can think of something else, leave that on the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.